this was an old movie theater, obviously really old, um, near my house, and I would drive by it. I used to teach at um, a salon-centric distributorship every two weeks for a while. And I would drive by it, and I just kept seeing it getting worse and worse and falling apart. And then one day I drove by, and it said, that's all, folks. Thanks for 30 years. And then I started to think about it, and, and it's sad uh, to think that, you know, a business like that is probably family-owned went out of business, there's all these new movie theaters and all of that, and then they pop up this sign and I'm looking at it like, this business hasn't changed in 30 years. It's the same, right? So the reason it's shutting down is because they stayed the same. You have to evolve, you have to change. You know, there's still people writing on paper appointment books, you know? I remember when I first started working at the salon, the owner had a, uh, a paper appointment book and people just write down where the hell they wanted to. Like, I, I did $300 today. Pay me, you know? Like, the, it, it was trust. And it's just paper, and you don't know. Now, most people are on computers, but it's just, you know, you got to evolve, and you got to come up with loyalty programs. You got to come up with all this different stuff in your business and just keep thinking. And when I said earlier, take inspiration from everywhere, that's really what it is. I mean, everywhere I go, I'm looking at things and trying to transfer them into my own business so that my business stays afloat with all the other ones. If you look at movie theaters now, they have recliners and every seat. You have your own table. You, have, you can order alcoholic beverages. You, you know, it's a very, you have a, a waiter. Like, this place didn't have any of that. So that's why they're closing down and, you know, and I don't want to see that happen with any salon business, and most salon businesses don't last over 10 years.